Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Welcome. I don't want to talk about it. One of my close friends in this industry, Patrick Starr, just released his own makeup brand, One Size Beauty. And if there's anyone in this community who truly deserves all the love, all the support, and all the luck, it is Patrick Starr. Because Patrick is one of the most uplifting, supportive friends a person can ask for. And trust me, I would know, because Patrick has been there through thick and thin. He has always supported me. And Patrick has always had this effect on me where I feel like I can be truly myself. If we go down memory lane for a little bit, a couple of years ago, I went to Necker Island with Benefit Cosmetics and Patrick, as well as Mac Daddy, made me feel so confident and comfortable enough to strap my ass down the island and dance my ass off. <laughs> It was questionable, but I had a lot of fun thanks to this one right here in Mac Daddy. Patrick has given me his clothes when I had to wear them to a red carpet in LA. The fact that Patrick is coming out with his own makeup brand, One Size Beauty, I couldn't be more proud. He came out with this beautiful eyeshadow palette right here. These five glitter eye poppers, the Point Made eyeliner pen, and the Point Made brown and black eyeliner pencils. Today, I'm gonna be taking these products for a spin, testing them out, and playing around in this fun little playtime video. And as always, I'll be doing two different eyes to show you as many shadows out of the palette, and uh, let's have some fun, okay? Let's go. All right, so the palette we're diving into today is this stunning beauty right here. This is the One Size Beauty Patrick Star Visionary Eyeshadow Palette, and it comes with a bunch of beautiful neutral shades with some pops of color. This is your typical everyday dream. Now, I was a bit curious, so I went into the olive shade already, and oh my god. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this review today. Okay. Let's see, I usually always do two eyes to show you as many colors of the palette as possible, so I'm gonna do the same today. I think for the first eye, I'm gonna be diving into, oh my God, dare I say it, the greens. I don't have a plan. I really don't have a plan, so let's just see where this ends up. Before we do anything though, of course we have to prime. Not to prime, is a crime. And my primer of choice today is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. All right, to get started, I'm first gonna go into this color right here, and that is called Suede Charm. Picking up that color and starting to pound it down here towards the outer portion of my crease. We're just setting it onto that base and making sure we have the pigment first and the blend after. This is a little bit darker than I expected. It comes off a bit more chocolatey on my skin than in the pen because in the pen it looks a little bit more yellow toned and warmer, whereas this is like a, a beautiful chocolatey color on me. Notice how I first stamped on the color and now I'm just blending out the edges to make sure we can move on to our next candidate. I must say though, it is blending like butter. Do you see that fade? Oh. Okay, now I really wanna dive into this color right here, this greenish cocky greenish, it's called matcha, and it has Patrick in there with a little police hat on it. Oh my God, I love it so much. And I want this on the outer corner, so I'm really stamping it on, focusing on getting the pigment first. Ooh, also darker than I expected, okay. That is definitely something to keep in mind, but I don't mind it, it's 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 fierce so far, so let's keep on blending, baby. All right, now moving on to this shade right here called Mango, and this is gonna be my continuation of the crease and also moving it forward to the front of the brow. Oh, this shade is so good. Ooh, and then let's whip it into that front of the brow to give it that yes, yes, yes vibe. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I really said let's smoke it up this Sunday morning. Now I'm gonna dip into this beautiful chromey olive color called All of It. That is going onto the lid. 
Oh, yes, 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 Patrick. Oh, the shade. And there's not a lot of fallout on my skin, which is very, very nice. I am shook by the fact that I'm living for this olive color because olive is green. And you truly know 2020 is fucked up when I am obsessing over a green color. You know what? I'm taking this olive color all the way up to my brow. So it gives that insane sheen all the way to the top. Now this part I am really, really excited about when I saw that Patrick came out with eye poppers, which are the Sparkle Vision eyeshadow. So this is like a sparkly eyeshadow topper, eye popper. When I saw that he came out with these, I'm like, oh, okay, Stila, you better run for your money, honey, because Patrick is coming. I have the color Let's Pump which is like a cooler toned champagne silver color. And I think popping that on the center of the lid on top of that olive is just gonna burst me. So let's go on top of the olive, honey, all the way up to the brow, just like I did with that shadow. <gasps> the sparkle? Oh, Patrick, honey. All of that sparkle going on? Holy crap. Okay, I'm just gonna stamp it on some more for extra, extra glitter. And taking just a bit of that matcha eyeshadow color to blend in the edges here and make it nice and traceless. Patrick mother fluffing star. You see that sparkle? You did that boo. Okay, now on the inner corner, I would love to go in with this, a pop of silver blue periwinkle. It's called Rebel Gray. Right here on that. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> That's a lot more blue than I was expecting. That's kind of the theme I'm running into. The colors show up a little bit different on the skin than in the pan. So I expected this to be like a, a beautiful blue periwinkle toned highlighter shade, but it's actually a pop of color. And I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of bomb with this. For the bottom, I am just gonna take matcha again. Oh my God. I never play with like dark greens like this. And oh. I should. I'm taking Suede Charm, that first color we dipped into, and I'm just taking that and continuing onto the lower lash line using that color. And then ending it all with Mango right here. Oh, we went really, really smoky on this side. This is like a typical Nikki Tutorials smoky party eye. This is like, oh, this gets me going. Now, usually I would pop a white eyeliner on my waterline to open up my small eyes, but I have this right here. The Point Made Busty Brown 24 hour gel eyeliner pencil. So this is going on my waterline. Oh, pay off. It like goes on in a second. Oh, that is so different for me. Oh, kind of living, kind of really want to get used to it, but okay. This is the first I done using more of the olive tones, more of the, well, I pretty much used a couple of shades already. I'm gonna pop a lash on and then let's see what we'll do for eye number two. Okay, the lash is applied and oh my God, if this isn't a sexy sparkly eye, I don't know what is. So for the other eye, it's prime. The first color I'm gonna go in with is this right here. It is called Booked. All right, I'm taking Booked, going right here on that outer corner. Also going on the outer third of the lid already. Oh, that is a sensual delicious color. Again, bit darker on my skin than in the pan. I don't know if this will be the case for everyone, but it's definitely the case for me. And since this is more rounded, I want this to be a bit more little by little. I just want to drag this out and give it that pulled out drama. There's a lot of pigment and you literally only need the tiniest bit to go a long way because I can stretch this out for miles. Okay, now I'm gonna dip into this color right here called Soft Serve. And you guessed it, that is going on the, oh, that's also darker than I expected. You know what, I'm just gonna mix it with Mango. I know I used that color already, but I do want that to be nice and warm on the inside. Don't we want all our insides to be nice and warm all the time? Oh, that is definitely more what I wanted. So if there's one thing I could give as advice to Patrick is find out why the colors look lighter in the pan as opposed to the skin. 
Don't know if this is the case for everybody. It's not necessarily a problem. You just have to remind yourself that things are gonna look a little bit more smoky and sensual than expected. <laughs> but I mean, they blend beautifully. There is little to no fallout on the skin. Let me check. There's nothing, there's nothing. There is a bit of fallout in the pan. That is something I always mention. Um, a lot of people don't have a problem with this. Some people do, so I think it's worth mentioning. But as it is performing on the eye, it is killer. On the lid, I want this color right there. Oh, everything. That's the right name for it, honey. Okay. I do have to mention that this color so far, everything has the most fallout compared to the other shades I've used so far. On the inner corner, let's do this gold called Title Holder. Ooh, a nice gold moment will never go wrong. Okay, let's hop into another eye popper because they're just so much fun to me. This one is in the color Everything and More. I love all the names that Patrick came up with because these are so him. And um, okay, let's go. This one has like a copper base, but like the sparkles look goldish greenish oh god oh my god oh my god on the lid it becomes even more pink with like greenish and silver chartreuse char chartreuse chartreuse uh glitter this one is nuts like i just know that these eye poppers are going to become a staple in my collection because they're so quick and easy to use and the effect they give is insane okay patrick also came out with the one size beauty point made bodacious black eyeliner pen i'm going to use this to create a nice little wing It is not easy to find a super black um, eyeliner pen that just goes on without any trouble and doesn't bleed. That is so important to me. Whenever a eyeliner pen bleeds on me where it kind of like dissolves into your little cracks of the skin, that is such a deal breaker for me. It doesn't do that. It has a lovely matte finish. It is so dark. I also used the Point Made eyeliner pen right here on that inner little gap. And usually eyeliners tend to bleed into the skin right there, but it stayed beautifully in place. I'm going to take a little bit of the Pea House eye popper and I'm just going to create a thin little line underneath that wing. See that little pop of sparkle right there? Ooh. For the lower lash line, I'm just taking Booked again, and we're just gonna smoky smoke. And then with a tiny eyeliner brush, I'm just gonna create a third wing underneath that eye popper we just applied. So we have like the black liner, the glitter liner, and then our brown shadow winging out as well. It is a way different vibe than what we've got going on over here, but it just shows you that you can do a lot with this palette. Okay, off camera, I'm just gonna apply some lashes and probably extend my inner corner on here as well, and I'll be right back. All right, lashes are applied to the second eye, and definitely sound off in the comments down below which eye is your favorite. Is it the olive side or is it the booked side? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, I've been wearing a nude lip lately that people have been going crazy over. So um, I'm gonna share it in today's video so we get that out of the way. <laughs> so the lip pencil I use is by Nebla. This is called Cupid's Arrow Full Color Stilo. I use this to give my lips that plump. Once I'm fully lined, my favorite go-to nude lipstick is by Doll Beauty. This is the Doll Lips Lipstick in FOMO. And the gloss I apply over top is also by Nebla. This is the Shine Theory Lip Gloss in the color District. And that is my look completed using the brand new makeup collection by One Size Beauty, and One Size Beauty being Patrick Starr's new makeup brand. The palette, which retails for $42, is insane, insane, insanely pretty. I really like all the colors that are going on in here. My main issue with the palette is, is that the colors show up darker on my skin than they are in the palette. It isn't necessarily a deal breaker, but it is something to keep in mind. Other than that, I think it's a stunning palette, and I think it's great for everyday glam use. The eye poppers are my favorite thing out of this entire collection. These are gonna go right into my makeup 
staples because I think that I'm gonna use these obsessively much because they sparkle like crazy. They give your eye that extra dimension, that extra glam. I love the colors and I cannot wait for Patrick to come out with more colors of this because this is, this is a dream, I love it. As for the Point Made eyeliner pen, it is black. It is matte and it stays in place. I feel like it's a very quick and easy eyeliner pen to use and also go into my staples. Now, I'm not really the person that applies a lot of black or brown eye gel pencils to the waterline because I feel like it closes my already tiny eyes off a bit too much, but with this vibe right here, I don't mind it. It's totally fine. It's staying in place. It's not bleeding into my corners. It's not leaking. It's not going anywhere. So overall, these products are insane. They're top notch, they're super quality, and I feel like this really is a complete Patrick Star brand. These are products that are gonna work for pretty much everyone out there. And it just goes hand in hand with the saying that beauty is a one size fits all. I am so proud of Patrick. I really, really can't recommend the eye poppers and the eyeliner pen enough. So that is what I think of the new makeup products by One Size Beauty. And now, let's go off. And that truly concludes my review on all the new One Size Beauty products out on the market. And uh, it feels very weird to be closing off a video without anything on my face, but here we are. For today's Dutch Bread of the Day, thank you so much for commenting on my last video. For today's video, it's gonna be skin. Hout. Hout. Your hat is beautiful. If you want to get featured in my next video, all you have to do is leave the Dutch word of the day down below in the comments. I want to thank you so much for watching. I truly hope you had a good time. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys!